Succession, it's the right thing end with season 4. When Jesse Armstrong first announced the Roy family saga would end with the fourth season of Succession back in February fans of the HBO show were distraught. The show was on such a high so why stop now? Succession's new season premiered in March and it has delighted viewers every week. With each shocking moment serving as a watercolor talking point for days on end. But one thing that seems evident, with only three more episodes left to go, is that Armstrong made the right call to end the show when he did. Season 4 began in the aftermath of its previous season, with Roy's siblings Kendall, Jeremy Strong, Shiv, Sarah Snook, and Roman, Kieran Culkin, teaming up for an offensive against their father Logan, Brian Cox, who had taken away their right to veto a deal he'd made with tech billionaire Lucas Matson. Alexander Skarsgård. The media mogul was tipped off about his children's plans by Shiv's husband, Tom Wamskins, Matthew McFadden. And the betrayal has further driven the wedge between the couple, because, let's be honest, their toxic relationship was already on the rocks long before that moment. Raring to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Logan, the trio had an early victory by persuading Nan Pierce, Cherry Jones, to sell her company to them rather than Logan. They readied themselves for all-out war, and said some harsh words to the patriarch along the way. Only for their world to fall apart when Logan suddenly died. The episode in which this happens is, so far, the best of the series. Strong. Snook and Culkin gave a masterclass in acting as they portrayed the raw whirlwind of emotions that their characters went through while they desperately tried to make amends when it was already too late to do so. Since then, the story has revolved around the three characters. Kendall and Roman are co-CEOs while the deal with Madsen is ongoing. Though both are proving more volatile than anyone would have expected, Kendall keeps coming up with new schemes at demonic pace. While Roman is firing practically anyone he lays his eyes on, 